Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hey, when you send stuff in like this, I uh, dig it. All right, I like it. Anyways, uh, I like that part, but in the future, I'm not gonna yell and scream this time. But no more stuff. If you have stuff like this, do not send it here. Okay? It just doesn't plug in to this. Don't send it. A lot of different reasons. Number one, you butchered it up. Or don't buy stuff. You know, use stuff, stay away, buy new. You know, if you're better off to replace the plugs. Okay? Always just go online and buy what you need. That's all you have to do. But this other kind of stuff, you know, makes it a pain in the ass. Alright. Uh, your 655 is done, the coax is done, or for the magnet mount. And uh, I just got this one working. It was working, but flat topping, only a few watts biasing. It was whacked out of proportion. Now it's all set back up beyond factory. You know, you could do more than just factory tune. We're not always talking power, we're talking clean. I didn't think, and it doesn't look like there was any mods that you wanted done. We're going to help it out a little bit. Not to where it has to create more heat, but we're going to drop or increase the carrier to modulated carrier ratio slightly on AM only. <clears throat> I want to explain a couple different things between high level and low level modulation, and you can compare those things to like amplifiers, whether they're linear or nonlinear. First, I'm going to let you see what a low level modulated radio looks like, like a 29, like one of these. Unless they're modified again. It seems like people get it all mixed up, you know. Well, this radio swings this, this radio swings that. Then there's Ohm's Law, and then there's this, like, flaw in Ohm's Law. When we're talking about RF. There's no flaw. It's understanding why there's a variance. And that's basically due to high and low level. And this is a um, carrier... They're, these are clean now. I know you're, you're going to see a little bit. Not a lot. Okay. And it's like an 8 watt key. It'll drop as it gets hotter. It's a little warm. Not much. Room temperature and it heated up just a little bit ago. And you're going to see a 3 to 1. Alright. I could probably give it another watt. Maybe. But on this radio, 1 watt here is going to be another watt there. And it can be like a 4 to 1. That's what a 3 to 1 looks like. Here, let's do this. Change calibrations here. Get it in there. Notice how it doesn't reach the uh, second block, top and bottom. Oh, that's a very clean wave. Wish this thing would focus. I'll go out a little bit. This isn't compression. The 4 to 1 going into compression would look like this. This is what you call a 3 to 1. It's a low level modulated radio. Now we'll go like this. See it? As accurate as you've ever seen before. Period. Well, it depends on where you work. Okay. See it? It achieves 100% modulation, but the ratios are different. It's a 3 to 1. But extremely linear. See power? And that's a 50 watt plug. Alright. Pretty darn close, huh? And that's where I'd really run this thing. 
Sideband's doing really decent. This is basically a sideband radio. The Allens, the Emperors, you know, the Jackson. All the ones that were low-level modulated that basically sported an MRF-477 and a sidebander were low-level modulated due to the fact that they're, they're clean in linearity and low-level modulated. And what that kind of means is on this radio, here's your, your final, your driver, your pre-driver, and buffer. You don't see a transformer over here. You don't see a giant modulator. Okay, you don't see that. What happens is this transistor is modulated, generates a carrier and is modulated, and the output of this transistor going into this transistor, the output is proportional to the input of this one. The output of this one is proportional to the input of this one, and so on. The input is proportional to the output. However you want to look at it, either way. Okay? Which generates a spectrum of the pure wave. It's the cleanest of all, but it's the less efficient of all. It takes more power to do that. Just because you've seen this doesn't really mean that it's that low in modulation. How it really sounds in a lot of other radios is basically the distance apart that you are from the receiving antenna and the AGC and how it's receiving it. So there's a lot of variables involved in that part and how it actually sounds. Sideband is where they glow. Here, I'll stick the mic on this. And this one's not going to be smoking either. All the caps look good. I don't see any bad glue. I don't see any weird shit in here. Audio, one, two. With one of these turned down. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's see. Let's actually do that. Go to sideband. One, two, three, four, five. Audio. Okay, no, it's not going to be a monster, but what's there is clean, very clean. You see it? Now, on the high level, so this would be if you had a. By the way, these are mostly like ham radios or sidebanders. Some people say, oh, it's an AM radio, a sideband radio, it ain't supposed to sound good. That's a cop-out and a flipping idiot. They, it doesn't matter, they still sound good. But if somebody gets in there and starts tweaking on shit, not knowing what they're doing, <laughs> yeah, it's going to sound pretty shitty. So this would be, this little thing right here, that one, would be like you have, I don't know, Pro 510XL or Cobra 29 or this radio. And then you have it going into an amplifier that's capable of taking the signal from the bottom to the top or proportional. You know, say if this can dead key 4 swing 12, the input of the, the amp would be, you know, it receives, it takes 4 and multiplies it to in dB to the size of your next amplifier and then your big tube somewhere else and it would end up looking exactly like that spectrally pure a high level is done differently it would be that the carrier is generated when you key the mic say for instance you got a 10 pill or an 8 pill sitting there and you got a class C or, or just a typical 29 or something else this is where the meter beta watts you always see, they'll never show you everything all at the same time because they can't seem to figure this out. They might be able to say it with their lips, but they can't do it. That's where when you start pinching, clipping, IMD all over the place, but the meter goes blowing all kinds of watts out over the place. And you hear that certain guy's radios way out there in the distance, barefoot out talking you. Kind of thing. Okay, so anyways, if everything was matched correctly in accordance, even if it was a class C amplifier, you take your radio and then you drive all four of these at the same time. So you, you key the mic or you key the, the uh, oh, I hate just those mind farts like that. <laughs> oh, I really hate when that happens. The relay, okay? So now you're generating all the RF and you're getting frequency, but now you have to modulate the carrier. 
Well, that's what this would be like. All right, so now you have to have either transformer modulated, uh, a modulator, etc. It's more efficient, but it's not as clean. It's not true. It's not spectrally pure. It's not the exact same mirror image of what's coming out of the radio. Well, what's coming out of the radio okay, is going into the amp, but what's coming out of the amp is a totally different signal, in other words totally different when you can match everything together and that can be an art then you have at the last stage a, a decent signal you know a decent wave anyways anyways I hope you got something out of that that's 10 minutes in uh, your, your 655 is rocking I might do a video of that uh, I'm going to increase the ratio on this just slightly and you said you were using well you're gonna wanna you're gonna want one of these and SRA on the 655 you're not gonna wanna put the SRA into this radio one of these if you have a 575 M6 that's fine I'll take these you know the 575 M6 great microphone I used a 575 M6 since I forget what year they came out but that year when this Turner 76 was getting to be a pain in the ass replacing batteries so these doing a great job for this AM and sideband the receive I haven't done yet I haven't set it on frequency I still got a lot more to do I hope you guys got something out of this if you did subscribe smash like make a comment be cool and enjoy the rest of this weekend it's hard drive 163 down by the Rio Grande out of here